the question when you sit down and meditate is not, what am I going to get out of the meditation? But what am I going to give to the meditation today? This is one of the lessons we learned from generosity. In so many of the lists the Buddha teaches of the various stages of the practice, generosity comes first or very close to first. Because it teaches you an important lesson. If you want to get something good out of life, first you have to be willing to give. You come into this life, you already have the, what they call the blessings of having made Barrett in the past. So it's not like you're coming here totally empty-handed. You've got some good, you've got some inner resources. And if you're going to get the most out of this life, you have to be willing to invest your resources, to give of your resources in a wise way. Of course, generosity here doesn't mean just giving things. It means giving your time, giving your thoughtfulness, giving your energy. We live here in a group, and each of us has developed his or her own duties, but you have to realize that not everybody's going to be able to fulfill their duty all the time. Sometimes things get undone or left undone. And so look around. If you have some extra energy, you see something that usually gets done but it's not getting done, well, you can go out of your way, make up the slack. And that way that becomes a, a good atmosphere in the group that we're all helping one another. We're not here just taking advantage of the fact that we've got a good place to meditate. We're also doing our best to make it a good place to meditate. But what we can do in giving up our time, giving up our energy, giving up a quality that Thai is called Nam Chai, literally means the juice of the heart. The image is if your heart is juicy, then it's kind, compassionate, thoughtful. If it's dry, it has none of those qualities. So give up your Nam Chai. Develop this quality of Nam Chai. Because the insight is not just a matter of the brain figuring things out. We're training both the heart and the mind. The language of the text in Pali and, and Thai and all these other Buddhist languages that you know, you may know of, and they all tend to make the word heart and mind mean the same thing because they are two sides of the same thing. So you're training your mind and you're training your heart. Think about that. And one of the ways in which you develop the qualities of the heart are how you live in the community, how you give of yourself for the community. And that way everybody benefits.